So is Instagram TV a revolutionary competitor to already established YouTube? Or another failure? <coughs> okay, so uh, relax. Okay, I'm not a hypocrite. I'm not uploading this to Instagram TV just to roast on it and then I will continue on YouTube. I will try out Instagram TV. I'm not a pessimistic person. I don't think that everything new that comes out is bad. So yeah, that's why I am uploading this on Instagram TV. But I have my doubts on the new feature that Instagram uh, implemented. So I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna share them with you. Okay, so first of all, I am disappointed on the whole vertical video thing. Now, I get it, Instagram has that mindset that a video should be vertical just because our phones are vertical and that's how we use them. I mean, I don't ever put my phone out and I say just, oh, landscape mode, like, uh, immediately. I, I am using it vertically, so that's why Instagram thinks we want to uh, watch content vertically. However, I do want to watch content vertically just when it is short. And that's why I like stories. You know, stories are a good idea because, you know, you have these short videos and images that are vertical and you swipe through them so that you can have uh, a, a recap of the day of every person you follow. Now, with Instagram TV, you have well-produced videos that are, like, that, that have potential in a vertical aspect ratio. And, I mean, okay, if you're doing something that is well-presented with a vertical aspect ratio, I guess you can go on and uh, do a career solely on Instagram TV, but YouTube has established this 16 by 9 wide aspect ratio and I mean it's perfect for videos because you can fit more people in and more stuff. You know when I am unboxing a thing I don't want the video to be vertical and just fit the box and like uh, what like a little bit of the table and other weird stuff that I want I don't want to be in the video. I just want to have my table sewn and the box and the wide aspect ratio helps to do that. Also when I'm doing this and he talks I want the whole background to be visible just because I am I am giving you some content behind me that you won't be seeing on Instagram TV and you will see if you're watching this on Instagram you won't be able to see the content that I'm gonna put behind me. You, you're just gonna say something like uh, a little bit of my name on the background. Um, also, another uh, doubt I have. Uh, also, another catch with Instagram TV is that you know uh, content creators such as Unbox Therapy use it to re-upload videos that they do on YouTube and that is like abominable I mean you, you will get bored with all this stuff that ca that is coming from YouTube just because you either you you've already seen that or is a worse representation of what the creator wanted to show you I mean I watched this unbox therapy video I'm gonna put it behind me you on Instagram won't see it um, so this video of unbox therapy it was the one that he uploaded yesterday on YouTube and um, it, it was actually so badly presented I mean it, it had all this text going on and and, it, and you didn't have much presentation going on from Lou and that's what I'm saying I, I don't like this whole short video thing and I, I think that creators have have this idea that Instagram is only for short videos and Lou himself uploaded a two and a half minute video which is not what he usually does so you get me I mean ah, you know what I'm, I'm gonna give the benefit of the doubt to Instagram TV and I really want it to be a competitor to YouTube just because YouTube's monetization system doesn't go that well uh, right now 
So I think that some competition will do only good to YouTube and us YouTubers. Uh, but uh, I have many doubts uh, and I don't think Instagram TV will take off any soon. So this was the anti talk for today guys. If you're watching this on Instagram, please go and subscribe on YouTube. I mean, if you if you want to, I don't, I don't care that much, uh, I guess. Uh, so yeah, this was the video for today. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.